Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. We are here today to talk about the typos issue, which is not a joyful topic, but I want all of you to know that I'm really overexcited, overjoyed, overdelighted, and overhonored to be delivering this presentation today. My name is Olivier, and I am a new intern at Procter & Gamble. So this is the content for uh, the presentation. I will start by talking about the accidental consumption, the intentional one, which is the famous typos challenge. I will talk also about the health issues, about the repercussions, and finally, I will conclude with a brief conclusion. So our product was launched in 2012. It was a famous product because it was very practical and uh, efficient in the detergent industry. It was famous, but it became infamous for some reason. And the first reason is lying right in front of you. So, can you see any difference between the components of picture on the left and on the right? Of course, there's none. Because our products are very, uh, look like candy. As you can see here, the products, they are bright, they are colorful, they are attractive, and most importantly, they are candy-like. So this is why uh, people, especially young children age five and younger, and elderly people with some mental disability, especially dementia, we have confounded our diapers with candies. The next one is the diaper challenge. The diaper challenge. So it is a viral challenge that took over the internet in late December 2017. And here it is not just a metaphor, it really took the internet like a virus, like a plague. People have been, uh, people have been filming themselves, posting on social networks like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And they were encouraging people, they were inciting people, and they were challenging people to do the same. So of course, ingesting um, diapers is ingesting chemicals, and ingesting chemical is ingesting poison. It has dire health consequences. It can cause severe burns to our mouth, to the esophagus, and the res respiratory tract. It also causes vomiting and diarrhea. It also led to death. So this is a graph from the American Association of Poison uh, Control Centers. And as you can see, every year, thousands and thousands and thousands of cases are reported. So the first repercussion is a Twitter campaign has been initiated by a guest columnist in Fortune magazine, Mr. Harold Zellinger, with the hashtag trash time poison reports, which were really trending on Twitter, because uh, Mr. Zellinger thinks that despite all our efforts, people are still consuming diapers, so they are still playing Russian roulette with their own life, and as such, we should ban it from the market. And another repercussion is that our company has been affected. The financial side of our company has been ad adversely affected. As you can see on this graph, it's starting from late December when it started and early 2018. Our share price uh, has had a declining trend until uh, mid-2018 in June, and now we are recovering. On the other hand, the revenue has increased. So we don't have any concrete data about why the revenue has increased. Maybe it's because of our other products, or with a new um, tax reform uh, with the President Trump who has decreased the uh, corporate tax to 15%. And as such, still during, it was a hard time, so we had to take some measures. So, some measures to save up the liquidity and solvency of our company. And in doing so, upper management has decided to cancel our traditional and annual trip uh, to our employees. Unfortunately, some of our employees have not well digested uh, the cancellation of the trip. So we initiated a stop work action uh, that could have caused a lot of friction in our labor force because some people will be coming to work while others will just stay at home. And it could have caused um, a bad publicity for our company where people might think that Procter & Gamble, we are too self-centered, we just want fun, party, and we are not really worried about our valuable uh, customers. So this leads me to the conclusion uh, of this presentation. Uh, I will conclude by saying that two main events have led to a domino effect on all the other events. So the first was the accidental and accidental consumption and the typos challenge, which lead to uh, different health issues, to a Twitter campaign, then to uh, adversely affected our financial stability and our employees who initiated a stop work action. 
So thank you very much for being such an attentive audience. If you have any questions, I will be delighted to answer them now. If not now, please do not hesitate to come forward afterward. Thank you.